Hey, hey, happy scientists. You just watched a video of Jack Hartman singing about what plants need to survive. I love Jack Hartman. I think it's hilarious. So what we're going to do now, since you have some information about some background knowledge about that, we are going to read this together and fill out our diagram. So you need these papers, or you can just pull the passage up on your screen. And I am going to share my screen. And just give me a second. Here we go. So we're going to read this together. And, oh, it paused again. Hang tight. Try it again. Technology, right? Okay, here we go. Okay. We're going to read this together, and then we'll go through the, di um, the diagram together as well. What plants need to grow? You should already know the four things. Plants and people are similar, so that means we are the same in some ways. We both start out small and keep growing until we are big. However, people can walk around, plants cannot. That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? A plant's roots sink deep into the soil to help it hold in place. Another difference between people and plants is what we eat. Unlike humans, so that's a difference, plants do not sit down at a table and eat, but they do need food. Plants make their own food. To do this, a plant needs air, light, water, and minerals from the soil. The leaves take in air and light, and the roots take in the minerals and water. The plant uses all of this to make its own food. You can grow your own plant if you give it enough water, air, and light. What do you think will happen if a plant does not get enough of these things? Hmm. What do you think would happen? Would it be able to survive? No, it would die, just like people. We need enough of things to survive, otherwise we wouldn't survive. Okay, so let's look at our diagram. And we have a word bank, light, air, water, minerals. And we have four questions. So the first question is, what do leaves collect? Let's go back and look in our passage. What do leaves collect? So I'm gonna scan and look for that magic word leaves because that's what the question is asking. So I'm gonna look, where's that word leaves? Nope, oh, there it is. So I found my word after I scanned or skimmed it and then I'm gonna read around it. The leaves take in air and light, okay? So what do leaves collect? Air and light. Okay, now what do roots collect? So it's asking about roots, so I'm gonna scan and try to find that clue word root. No, nope. not yet. Oh, there's the word root. So now I'm gonna read around it. And the roots take in minerals and water. Minerals are like nutrients, kind of like vitamins. So roots collect water and minerals. So those are the four things that plants, all plants need to survive. Air, light, water, and minerals or vitamins. What you can do now is when you're done, it should say when you are done or when you're done. When you are done, draw yourself as a plant and decorate your pot. So right here, you would draw yourself as a plant. So let's see, and then you can decorate your pot. You can put your name on it. Mrs. Peters, um, you can draw whatever you want. So you can draw a nice tall plant. And whoops, if I had an eraser, I would erase that. And you would draw yourself. Give my curly girl hair. Of course, you might want to make it look better with crayons or markers. And my arms are leaves. Okay, that's just kind of a quick sketch. So you can draw yourself as a plant and then you can take a picture of it and post it if you want. You don't have to, but it would be fun to see everybody's pictures as they see themselves as plants. And then you can keep these passages in your science folder or you can hang your plant self up on the refrigerator, okay? 
So that was our lesson today on what plants need, air, light, water, and minerals to survive. And I hope you post your pictures because I would love to see some of these pictures. They'll be funny. See you on Schoology.